Hi everybody, welcome to part two of lesson two, how does it change? So if you haven't already, this is kind of the results from the first question. If you haven't watched that and done this already, I would encourage you to go back and do that. Uh, but this video is about the second video, or the second problem, so let's jump right in. All right, problem number two, patterns of dots. Patterns of dots. Okay, pattern, I'm looking at pattern number one, and it's got step zero, step one, step two, and step three. And then pattern number two, it has step zero, step one, step two, step three. Number one, study the two patterns of dots. Are the num how are the number of dots in each pattern changing? How would you find the number of dots in the fifth step in each pattern? Okay, so, um, I would say take a minute and answer these two questions on your own, but when you do this, you're probably going to have to draw the dots. And when they ask how are the number of dots in each pattern changing, you would probably want to show it using annotations. So not just writing words, but also annotating how you see the change. So take a minute, pause the video, do this on your own. While you have the video paused, I am going to be copying my patterns down into my notebook so I can annotate it on my sheet as well. Okay, so pattern one, this is step one, step zero, step one, step two, step three, and then pattern two. Step zero is just empty. That's kind of weird. Step one. Step two. And step three. Like something like that. Okay. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So, we are going to start by answering the question, how are the numbers changing? And we are going to answer that question using annotations. Uh, we're going to answer that question using annotations, and this is going to look a couple different ways. So, one thing you can do is to count the dots, right? uh, the number of dots. So, we're going to do that first, number of dots. So in step zero, there is one dot. In step one, there are one, two, three dots. In step two, there are one, two, three, four, five dots. Oops. In step three, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. So one way we talk about annotating is by just counting how much the growth happens in each step, right? So from one dots to three dots, we say that that's growing by two, two dots, right? Plus two dots. From three to five is plus two dots again. And from five to seven, is plus two dots again. And from that, you might notice, oh, look, it's the same number each time. Each time we're adding two dots. Hmm, I wonder if we can find those two dots in the pattern. So step one, zero has this one dot, and then step one, the two new dots are, oh, let me do it in red. The new dots are here and here. And then in step two, 
the original dots were kind of in this triangle pattern, right? So the two new dots are here and here. Oh. And then step three, there's this kind of like five wedge shape. I see that here. But the two new dots are here and here. Oh, so it looks like each time we're adding two dots onto the edge. And notice the question says, how are the number of dots in each pattern changing? And I would say, like, what I've done answers that question. I haven't written anything out in words, except for writing number of dots, but the coloring, the notating, the arrows, the highlighting, all of these are ways that you can express what other people should be looking at and what you're thinking about. This is totally fine. How would you find the number of dots in the fifth step in each pattern? So now I'm looking at part B. So the fifth step. Well, let's see if we can go more quickly. So step four, there would be like some dots up here, but I don't care about that. Can we just do it based on the pattern? Well, I think in step four, there would be plus two more dots because there would be those like two extra dots on the end, right? Which would be a total of nine. And then step five, I would assume we're adding two more dots. And so that would be a total of 11, because we're adding those two dots on the end again. Right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Good. OK, before I move on to the next one, there's a different way that I want you guys to see this. And this is, this is important as well. So the other way I want you to see this is by thinking about uh, what we were doing up here, which is different ways to count the dots. So in this case, we start out with just this kind of like one lone dot here. And do you see how that one lone dot just kind of sits there by itself the whole time? Lone dot, lone dot, lone dot, lone dot. So all of these have like one, one one right one and then in step one there's like one pair of dots right here right so to this one we're adding on one pair of twos right the one original dot plus one pair of twos okay in step two We had the original pair, and then we have another pair of two. So now we have a total of two pairs of two. Two pairs of two. In step three, two, three, we have three. pairs of two. And so this is a different way of annotating the pattern, but also of seeing the pattern. Because now we're counting totals, right? Step one had one pair. Step two had two pairs. Step three had three pairs. Step four will probably have, not probably, will definitely have one, two, three, four pairs plus the original one and step five should have one two three four five pairs plus the original one right so different ways to count but we get the same result every time okay pattern number two if you have not done this already for pattern number two, you should. 
Or if you want to try again, thinking about the annotations that we just did, pause the video and answer these two questions for pattern number two. How are the number of dots in each pattern changing? From this one to this one to this one to this one. And how would you find the number of dots in the fifth step? So pause the video, go through and annotate for pattern number two, and then when you come back, we'll talk about it. Okay, welcome back. So for pattern number two, the first thing I'm going to do is write down the number of dots. So step zero has zero dots. Huh, I wonder if that's gonna stay the same. Step one has one dot. Oh, step zero has zero. Step one has one, interesting. Step two has, oh, four dots. One, two, three, four. Well, there goes that pattern. Step three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dots. Great. Okay. So let's see if we can count how much is changing each time. So from zero to one, we're adding one. From one to four, we're adding three, right? One plus three is four. And from four to nine, we're adding five. Hmm, this is different than what happened here. Here it was plus two each time. Here, the amount we're adding is changing, plus one, plus three, plus five. Now, if you're, if you're, if you're thinking about patterns all the time, you might have noticed something though, which is if you ignored the one, two, three, four, and you were just looking at one, three, five, you might notice that these are plus two and plus two. Now, if you're noticing that, good on you. That's, that's a good insight, a good way of thinking. When you do this, when you count how much the change is changing, you're looking at something that's called the second difference. Now, do you need to know this word? Of course not. But if you're noticing that there's like a pattern within the pattern, good. This is something that's going to come up more than once. But I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to say anything more about this for right now. Instead, we're going to go up here and see if we can figure out what's going on in each step. So step zero is just zero, right? There's nothing there. Step one, the one new dot is the dot that's there. Step two, that dot, in my mind, I see this dot as living like right here. And then the new dots in step two form this like shell around it. I don't know if you see it that way, but that's how I see it. Because then the jump from step two to step three, I see the original four dots is like living here. And in step three, there's this shell of dots that live around it. Now, if you saw it differently, you should stick to that and make sure you can annotate how you see the growth rate or the new dots kind of piling on. Are they, you know, rearranging themselves? Are they growing? Are they, uh, did you see like the four dots maybe somewhere else in this box? Wherever you saw it is fine. So could we, do we have enough to like figure out what step four and step five would look like? Well, maybe. Maybe. From this pattern, could we figure out what happens next? First it's plus one, then it's plus three, then it's plus five. So could we say what would be added next here? Well, it kind of looks like the amount we're adding is going up by seven each, or going up by two each time. So the five would become a seven. Right, there's that second difference again. Uh, so nine plus seven would be 16. And then to get to step five, how much would we be adding? Well, 
plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. This seems like it would be a plus 9, right? Because this 7 gets 2 added to it to become 9, and 16 plus 9 is 25. And each time, we would be adding that kind of like shell to the outside, right? Okay, but hopefully, or maybe you haven't, because we haven't talked about this next idea a lot very much, but like hopefully you're also noticing something else about pattern number two. Either by looking at these numbers, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, or by looking at the shapes, I hope that when I say this, this is going to be like, oh, right, right, right. These are all squares, right? What do I mean by squares? Well, I mean, step zero is zero, whatever. Step one is one. So it's like one dot. But step two is two dots high and two dots across. Step three is three dots up and three dots across. Right? Step three is three by three and nine is three times three. So step four, maybe step four is also going to be a box of dots. That's four dots high and four dots long, which would be four times four, 16 dots. And step five, maybe it's five dots across and five dots up, which would be 25 dots total. And I don't want to draw all these dots out because that would be a pain, but maybe it would be helpful for you if you just kind of took a minute and did like dot, 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 one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So how would you find the number of dots in the fifth step? Would you do this pattern? Would you draw the pattern out and then count? Or would you notice this pattern of one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five? I'm curious. And, and if you can, comment and tell me how you, how you did this, because I don't think any of these ways are wrong. I think they're all different. What I do want to make sure you're comfortable with is the three different annotating styles. And let me repeat what I mean by three annotating styles. So one annotating style is by annotating the growth rate from total to total. So the plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two with a plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven, plus nine. That's one way. The second annotation style is by coloring in the new dots in each step. So new dot, new dot, new dots here, or new dots, new dots, new dots, new dots. The third annotation style is by noticing the total pattern among all the dots, what I have in light blue, right? Two by two, three by three, four by four, or circling the total number of dots in each step, right? Four, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs. All of these annotation styles are good. You should be comfortable reading all of them and you should be comfortable creating most of them on your own. Okay, that is the end of this question, I believe. In the next video, we will go over the putting all of this information into a table and a graph. And I'll see you there.